No one's really done this with this phone yet, so wow, that's really bad. Coat check, tripod check, hat check. You know we're doing some astrophotography right here tonight with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's get into it. G'day guys, Shane Monster here. Today we're doing iPhone 14 Pro Max astrophotography. If you don't know what that is, we'll try this one first. 13 Pro Max, take a photo of the galactic core. If you want to know how to do that, lots of tutorials. We want to see what this iPhone 14 can do with the stars. We'll do the 13 as a baseline. We'll throw the 14 on and we'll see if it's an improvement. For me personally, I kind of like doing this with the iPhone. It's, uh, well, just dead set easy. The results aren't as good as some of the Android phones, but um, if you've got an iPhone, this is how you would do it. Uh, we're gonna need a tripod because when you go into night mode, it's gonna give you 10 seconds automatically, but when it's on a tripod, it's gonna give you 30 seconds. So I'll just put this into this uh, phone holder here. This is the Explorer phone holder, the generic one. It, it uses uh, this one here for, it's not the MagSafe one is what I'm getting at. It, you can just basically clamp any phone into that mount. You also need to know a little bit of stuff. You need to know where that galactic core is, that orange gaseous cloud like this. You need to know where that is in the sky. It changes all through the year. At the moment, right now in the Southern Hemisphere, it's sitting horizontal. It's almost vertical. If I waited a few more hours, it'll be a bit lower and I can put some foreground elements into it. But we'll have to wait for that for another video because it was clouding over a bit and I haven't had much of a chance to get to this. I'm just gonna point this up to the stars right about there you can see there in the preview i've already taken a photo on this phone here i do it pretty regularly so we've set up pretty much where the galactic core is there we've got it on pro raw you can see at the top if i swipe up here hit the night mode button bring it all the way to 30 seconds because it's on a tripod it's found that it's going to touch on one of those stars hit the shutter button and wait for the photo to be taken. A number of people have told me there's different ways you can shoot this thing. You can have a delay. You can use your Apple Watch to shoot the photo as well. Honestly, these things take 10 second frames. Three of those, put them together, a little bit of bump in this sort of scale. It really doesn't matter. Seven, six, nearly there. This is a pretty good baseline. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is probably the best iPhone I've seen since I've been doing this on this channel. And there you can see part of the galactic core. There's a little bit of cloud there. So let's shoot this 14 before that cloud takes too much. So that's done a pretty good job. Um, if you've watched what I do here um, before, you would have, you, you'd know that um, the iPhone tends to put out a lot of haze in that photo. So I'm kind of, well actually I don't really know what I'm expecting here. This is the 14 Pro Max, put it in the same holder. The case is a little bit different, haven't got the case that I wanted for this one just yet. We'll set this one up exactly the same way. What I would say is we'll go into the settings, we'll change the Pro Raw to 12 megapixels. I'm pretty sure it'll do that automatically anyway at night time, but we'll do it just in case. Now that's on there, I can see because I'm using a 13 Pro Max case on a 14 Pro Max, the camera bump doesn't quite line up. Does my bloody head in. You know, when uh, Apple does all its, you know, its regular virtue signaling around the environment and stuff, not giving you a, uh, a charging brick because, you know, it saves, on, saves the environment. We can fit more boxes into a container. We don't need to ship as many containers. That's the argument that, um, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but when I want a rapid charger, I'm still buying a rapid bloody charger. So I'm still using twice the amount of packaging um, to, that's it. To, to get that charger to you. But when you, then, then you think about all the amount of plastic that goes between all these different phones, like the, between the 12 and the 13, physically they're the same size, the buttons uh, weren't quite lined up. So you couldn't use the same case. I don't know, I just think that's a bit stupid when you say we're saving the environment, but I want you to buy twice of every freaking thing because we're too stingy ass to buy it ourselves. 14's on the, on the uh, tripod now. Let's see how it goes. Here's the 14. It looks pretty well identical to what the 13 did. 
just tighten that tripod off right there. And we've got raw on. We'll swipe up a little bit to get the second menu. Night mode there, take it to 30. Just gonna to touch on a star out there. And hit the shutter button. For those who haven't watched what I do here before, this phone, the iPhones are taking three photos of roughly 10 seconds each and they're putting them all together. It uh, binds them together for exposure and for focus, not stacking, it doesn't line the stars up as well, so as well as like a pixel does, for example. But what I'm interested to see with this thing is with the 48 megapixels binned down to 12, in theory, they should be pretty good sized pixels, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to let in as much light or capture as much light. No one's really done this with this phone yet, so let's have a look at what the result is. All right, that's it's done. Let's have a look at the photo. That's shit. Surely I've done something wrong there. Let me try it again and we'll see if we can get a better result. That little glow from the bottom right hand corner there is from, from my house. That might be the problem. I was going to turn that light off and we'll take another shot again. Hold on. Hmm. I'm taking another one. What I've done there is I've increased the uh, exposure adjustment. You know, when you touch for focus and you can, you've got the slider on the side. I've increased that to maximum, see if that pushes up the ISO. Maybe that might be the problem. We'll, we'll investigate the metadata in a second. I might, I might just screw it up. We'll have a look, it's finished now. I've done a couple now with some adjustment changes. Let's have a look. Wow, that's really bad. Why is it doing this? Here's the photo, that's not the photo, it's a screen recording, there's the photo. It honestly doesn't look that bloody good. But the stars look, it's not good. I think the 13 is better. What's going on with this thing? Have a look at the metadata. 24 millimeter F178, 178. I reckon that's a little bit lower than the 13, but that the thing is the ISO. ISO at 800. I reckon the ISO on a phone, on a camera photo from the, the 13 Pro Max is like 16, 6400. So it's, so, wow. It's weird to think that the ISO is down so low and it's not, surely it's capable of more than that. Just gonna try one last thing before I officially say this thing's a piece of dirt for astrophotography. So I'll put that back up to where it needs to be. It's gonna use the uh, exposure compensation on there. We'll see if that makes any difference. I suspect it won't. That's not what it does, but shit, you never know. It's not a manual camera app, it's a fully automatic camera app, so I'll try it and see what happens. All right, that's done. Turn that screen recorder off. What I do like is that, um, what do you call it, that island, whatever it's bloody called, it's got the screen recorder in there now, that's kind of cool. We'll turn that off, we'll go and have a look at this photo. It's no bloody different. Gotta be honest, that's a big bloody disappointment. I've waited for ages to get this phone. I've waited for ages for the sky to clear. It's reasonably clear. There's a little bit of cloud there, but you can see the 13 did it pretty well. This is the best edit that I can get out of the 13. This is the best edit that I can get out of the 14. But I tell you, that's a major disappointment. It doesn't mean it's the end of it all though. I would say because it, to me, it's the ISO that makes the difference. 6,400 on the 13, only 800 is achievable on the 14 Pro Max. That's kind of weird. That's a bit of a concern, but um, I dare say they'll be able to fix that. Apple will be able to fix that with like software updates. That's just crazy. Why would it only go to 800? 800 for astrophotography with an iPhone? Forget it. If you're sitting on the fence right now, at this point, I'm going to say, and you, in astrophotography, what I do here on this channel is one that you want to, uh, that you're going to be doing a bit of. I wouldn't do it. It's really not good. If I can't get it to work in these skies here, this is a Bortle One location. 
if I can't get good star photos, and you can, you can see it out of the 13 Pro Max, and the 14 just isn't really cutting the mustard. I'll see if we can get around it. I've got a few other apps here that I can try. I'm not going to do it tonight, because the native camera app is one that's always been the best. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see if I can get this thing to work better. All right, catch you later.